Donald and Eckman Larson. All that being said, here's how important John Carlson is to the Washington Capitals. Last year they lost Shattenkirk, Alsner, and uh, Schmidt, Nate Schmidt. Yep. All for nothing. Zero. Not a. They got to keep guys like that. I wonder if Barry Trotz might encourage Lou Lamoureux to have a chat with John Carlson if he gets to free agency. I'll put Probably. this out there. I think, I think Carlson wants to stay in Washington, yeah. but the money's the money. If John Carlson was to not resign with Washington, good chance that Washington Capitals, a Stanley Cup champion, misses the playoffs? I'm not prepared to say that. Just their depth down the middle so strong with Backstrom, Kuznetsov, Eller, and maybe Beagle's got a chance to be a free agent. I'm not prepared to say that. They're too strong down the middle. Well, they it's tight, I'll tell you. It's tight in those divisions, and it's tight it's in the exactly. East. So, you know what? Seven teams that made the playoffs two years ago didn't make it last year. So let's consider that, you know, you start getting holes in your lineup, it starts to create some challenges. Okay, Columbus is up next. I'm not, I'm not going to say we're going off the board because the board is going to be blowing up here in a little bit here, but it's going to start going all over the map from here on in. Columbus Blue Jackets up on the stage. Pick is in. Thank you to Tom Gallardi, Jimmy Lights, the Dallas Stars. A special hello to our fans back in Columbus at the R Bar. Announcing our pick tonight is a man who was born down the road in Arlington, Texas, played his youth hockey here in Dallas, and has gone on to become an NHL All-Star. Please welcome Seth Jones. With the 18th pick, the Columbus Blue Jackets proud to select from the London Knights, Liam Foody. Liam Foody, pretty good athletic pedigree. Mother France was an Olympic sprinter. His dad played in the CFL, and now he will be a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And I'll tell you what he's going to bring to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Incredible speed, disruptive speed. And when you can do the things with his speed that he does, it makes opponents really uncomfortable. He doesn't have the scoring finish. He's going to get a lot of opportunities with that speed, break into the open ice, much like Michael Grabner did, that ability to just get into the open ice. But his improvement was pretty significant. And when you look at high-end offensive ability, it's not there. But when you look at where the Blue Jackets have a lot of offense, he fits in quite nicely. And I mentioned his mother... France, an Olympic sprinter. You talk about that elite speed translating certainly to the ice. Bob. Yeah, and his dad was the CFL player with the Ottawa Rough Riders, the BC Lions, a defensive back, won the Grey Cup with the BC Lions in 1994. His brother, Jean Luc, just went in the first round of the OHL draft to the Windsor Spitfires. This is one of the, bar none, the most athletic kids in this draft. He was a provincial hurdler. Uh, Ontario Provincial Hurdle Championship and this guy blew things away at the combine standing long jump vertical jump all the jumping anything with those fast twitch slow twitch <laughs> things I don't know I, the, the kids an athlete well it's a fast league Columbus adds a fast player